Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too, let's go! On our last episode, we met Emilio, our mystery critter, who has just embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. He slowly made his way through the Caribbean forest, over tall rocks and down into a dark cave. Just when he was thinking there wasn't much to see there, he spotted a shining bright red dot ahead. What kind of red dot shines in a cave? Doesn't make any sense and I haven't figured out who our mystery critter Emilio is. Let's see what happens next. As Emilio finally came face to face with the bright, mysterious light, he realized it wasn't dangerous and it wasn't something he'd ever seen before. What is this? What Emilio was seeing for the first time wasn't just one, but hundreds, hundreds, what of beautiful red crystals? Yes. They were spread out across the cave floor. Some crystals were super small and others were standing almost a foot tall. I've never seen such a beautiful treasure like this. <laughs> Wait until everyone hears about this. Emilio was so excited to share his amazing findings. The only problem was, oh dear, the ground began to rumble. He felt little rocks falling from the top onto his back and then more and more and more. Then without thinking, he pulled his head and his feet inside his body and then all went completely pitch black. Emilio felt large boulders fall all around him, but he stayed safe inside his red, racer-striped little body. When everything was finally still around him, he could tell that the rocks weren't rumbling anymore. He peeked his head out from the inside. There were a lot of broken rocks all around. Half the red crystals were shattered. Oh no, how will I ever figure out the way out of here? Emilio started to worry as he looked all around, trying to figure out some kind of path back out of the cave. The way he came in was completely blocked with fallen rocks, and Emilio realized that the only option was to keep walking forward. He picked up a few of pieces of the crystal and started ahead. Maybe these crystals will give me some kind of light up ahead. As he walked, his spirits were getting lower and lower. He didn't think he'd ever make it out. Oh, what will I eat? What will I drink? Emilio knew there weren't any plants in the cave. He didn't even see fruit or insects or water to drink. I just need to find an exit. We aren't made to survive here. Emilio looked all around and also held on to his crystal as he walked. Then suddenly, he started to see his crystal glistening. It was very bright. He looked down at it, then all around. Up above him, there was a small opening. And through this opening, the sun was shining. The light reflected all the way down to his crystal like it was sending a signal down to Emilio in the dark cave. I have to start climbing. This, this is my way out. Emilio said and started to make his way higher and higher. He climbed the boulders with ease and finally escaped the cave. It was a little tricky getting used to the bright sun now, 
Have you ever gone from a dark house into a bright, bright sunny day? Oh, yeah, it kind of hurts your eyes a little bit. Phew. No, I just need to make it home. Ugh. Ugh. I'm tired. He was tired but excited to show his friends and family the amazing crystal and tell them all about his cave adventure. He was also excited to get back to his yummy leaves and plenty of food. He was starving. When he did make it home, he attracted quite a crowd. All the animals in the forest gathered around to see his crystal, and Emilio felt very special showing them and telling them all about his adventure. They asked him, How far did you travel? Where did you go? How did you find the crystal and did you stay safe during the earthquake or climb out? Even old Cosmo wondered how a critter like them could make it out alive. As Emilio listened to all the questions, he realized that he had some pretty amazing features and talents that helped him make his way through. Hold on a second. Have you figured it out? Do you have a pretty good guess of what kind of animal Emilio is? We learned he has some pretty amazing armor to protect his body from those rocks falling. And with ease, he squeezes his whole body right inside itself. Let's see if you guessed it. Emilio paused and smiled a little. Then he answered all the jungle animals. I am a red-footed tortoise, and I'm special in my own way. I may not be the fastest, or even the red racer, but I sure can go the distance. The end. Wow, did you guess a tortoise? Yes, Emilio is a red-footed tortoise who lives in the Caribbean islands. Wow, they're pretty amazing how they can protect themselves inside of their shell. It's kind of nice to have that around even though they may be very slow walking through the jungle. It definitely helps in case of a, a cave-in, you know, rocks falling. Woof. I kind of, it might be nice every once in a while to have a shell built in. What do you think? Well, my friends, that may be the end of Emilio's story, but it is definitely only just the beginning of his amazing adventures that lie ahead. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end and it's time for some Critter Protector shout outs. I want to say hey to Violet from New York, Philip from Hawaii, Layla and Holland from California, Zoe and Ben from North Carolina and Leon from California. I'm so glad that you're all Critter Protectors. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyards. Without you, my friends, will you have a super day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!